since everybody's been quarantined at the house, this spring I've got to finally spend some time on a lot of these watersheds and a lot of the farm ponds here close to the house. Honestly, I haven't fished more than three miles from my house in the last three weeks. It's been a lot of fun. Today, we're catching some spawning bass. Now, in the beginning, it may look like this is going to be a tough day, but trust me, we had a lot of fun, and it was definitely worth the hike down to the pond this day. We found that gym, and it made it all worth it. Right in this area, it's really shallow. Like, I don't know, I know you can't tell, but it's, it's literally like not even that deep right there. Not even that deep. I'm just going to um, kind of around to see, we might even see a few on bed. It's been really cool here recently, so it might be some fish still spawning in a few areas. Um, might be able to see a few fish on beds. I got three baits I'm going to use today. I'm going to use the just a prop bait that you see me use in the video before. Then I'm going to tie me up Texas rig because when in Texas you do as the Texans do. I don't know. I just Texas rig, wacky rig. Tie me up old wacky snack too because wacky rigs catch fish and I like to catch fish. So I'm going to tie him on as well. That's really it. Like, until I get a feel for what the pond is going to be like, I don't get, I just take a couple baits that I got a lot of confidence in. Start off with those baits and then just kind of branch out from there. Hopefully, I might catch a personal best today. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the lookout for this personal best deal. I saw one run off. When I get over there to that bank, I'll catch more on this prop. Wow. Hey, Dion. Dion. They on beds. Yeah. I done seen two or three. They small, though, and I just had one take it off. Saw a bed right there. I, just, I had him bite it already once. Threw it back over there. Didn't feel like a big bite because he was running, like, super fast. Bed today. Don't bother me one bit, but I'm gonna get up there where I can actually see because I see a few beds. I've seen a few fish cruising. Um, I haven't I haven't seen anything like like a big, even like a two pound fish. That doesn't seem like a lot, but a two pound buck can have a freaking giant female with it. I haven't seen anything like that just yet, but I have seen you know 12, 14 inch fish. As soon as uh, the sun gets high and the water stores are warm, it's been cool the last few mornings. You watch, you'll see, you'll see more fish. I'll see more fish later on this afternoon than I will right now. This is a little bit of cold front. There's one, take it off just then. Doesn't feel like a big one. I see a light spot. I'm gonna anchor down right here. I see a light spot. See a little. I don't see a fish. A lot of times you you'll see a light spot before you see the fish. So I'll cast up there to the light spot first. If I even see the fish, if you see the spot, just go ahead and cast to it. Damn bed. Got it again. Got it again. A little bit better on that time. Yeah. I can definitely tell that fish was on bed. I flipped it in there and I caught it once. I had it hit one time. <clears throat> threw it back in there and got it again. Still a small one. I see a brim bed right there actually. I got up here close to the bank. I'm trying to see if there's actually, you know, if I see any fish cruising. Like I said, it's really cold, so it should get better. The you know later we get in the afternoon, the better the fishing is probably going to get because it's been really really cool. It's like lows in the 40s here in late April. 
uh, what you know, it's usually lows in the 50s, 50, 80 is what we can get this time of year. But we've been getting like 40, which is, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a cold front. It's been in the 80s. There's a good bite right there. There's a good bite. I thought that was gonna be a little bit better one. Oh, he come off. I had another one, he come off. You see, you know what I can do with this spinning rod. Fish is spawning, it's a flat right here. It's a good little thing to remember for you guys. Didn't take much for me to see that, that, that the fish are spawning today. First thing I saw was a couple, couple beds, even though they were empty. I saw a few fish cruising around. Water's kind of cool. Giveaway, dead giveaway that there's there's some some population of fish that are spawning right now. So what I decided to do is just get on the flat side of this pond. And you can see there's actually a stump right here below the boat. There's a brim bed right here in front of me. But anytime you got, you know, stumps, a flatter area of the pond, that's where your fish are gonna spawn at. So I just decided to get up here, just fan cast around with a wacky rig. That's how you can catch your uh, little spawning fish. It works just like how it does in the lake. The lake, when they spawn, you wanna get on the flatter portion of the lake. The deeper side is where they'll go after they spawn. What I'll try to do is I'll just move the boat to a little area and I'll just fish for a minute. Like don't, don't do nothing, don't move, don't breathe, don't smoke a cigarette, don't do nothing, sit down. And just cast around, just, just kind of do a cast. Because these fish are not moving, right? They're just sitting on the bed. So you can take a cast, throw out, and then throw out a little bit, like 20 foot to the right, 20 foot to the right, 20 foot to the right. I'll turn around, I'll go to the other side, and do 20, 20, 20, 20. Like these fish are sitting in one spot, so you gotta pretty much hit him on top of the head. So just take your time and fish around. You know, like, just take your time. That was, that was a little bit better one. No, actually, no, it ain't. He's just a small. He's just a small. Where's the giants at? I know it's some giants here. Squirt alert. This ain't nothing out here. Not really catching any big ones today. My dad used to fish down here and I even I remember coming down here when I was a kid and you know, it'd been some, I remember my dad caught a giant in this place when I was a, you know, just a, a little baby. I say a little baby, probably six, seven years old. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, he broke off! Dang it! It's about three, three pounds or so. It ain't about four foot out here. Dang. I'm about to tie up my, I'm about to tie up my Texas rig. When I tie that up, that'll be the end of you for today. Won't be no more coming back for you, Mr. Latimer. Huh? You knew you was done when you came down here. You seen the kind of fish I catch. Don't mess with this brush. This is gonna be my brush today. Huh? Don't mess with the brush. The brush is gonna be mine today. 
That's gonna be mine. I'm gonna fish that. So just don't mess with that at all today. All right, now I'm gonna fish all that brush. You need to move. You need to take your boat on. I gave you that bank over there. Why don't you just fish the bank? I thought you wanted to go over there. Yeah, but I told you to leave this brush alone. This is my brush. You need to let that brush settle up. Let it let it rest. You ain't caught nothing no video, so basically you hadn't caught nothing. If it ain't no video, you did not catch it. I thought I would have caught four or five pounders by now. So I missed one out here on these, these cane piles out in the middle earlier. I'm gonna go back out here and see if I can catch one now. I gave it a couple hours to set back up. Let's see if we can catch one out here. Brought him out of that cane pile, buddy. I brought him up out of there. You see me? I got some structure out here located. Located this one with with kayak optics. Kayak optics is what this is. Located a couple brush piles at 72 foot at 10 o'clock. Threw out my sawtail worm out there. I'll show you this worm later. Right now I'm not really into showing you what I'm fishing with because I got damage that I'm trying to create. So, I'm gonna catch me one seven pounds out here. You just better get ready. Yeah, okay. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. Found these offshore brush piles. This is where these fish are ganged up at right now. Huh? Probably some big bass in this pond, to be honest with you. There's no doubt in my mind, there'll be some, some decent sized fish here. This is a very old pond. My dad fished in this pond in the Wow, you just gonna hit me like oh dear. Yeah. Oh, I can't keep up with him, dude. Dude, I can't keep up with him for real. It is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Three and a half, four pounder. Dude, I could keep up with him. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I catch you know what I catch <laughs> you know what I catch you seen the fish I catch Dion Jason's really dragging it out on that flat like what I was telling you I was telling you I was like dude you gotta you gotta get off on these flats just like you do on the lake dude that's a big one though hey let's see how much he weighs I got my scale 288 I got my scale he's four he's four this scale weighs kind of light too like in tournament, tournaments, it'll say I have 16 and I have like eight. I have like 18. Let's see what it says in the way. It says a 360, 363 is what it says. 363. Can you guys see that right there? 363 is what it says. Dude, that was fun. Hey, dragging it off. You got it just, just off. Just like you would do in the lake. Carolina reason like pond's not really that deep seven eight foot out in the middle and i think this is weird you wouldn't think fish would be out here in the middle but there is some i think because they just finished spawning and now they're kind of working their way it's just like the lake it's funny how this like even though it's a small body of water 10 12 acre pond maybe 15 acres i don't know they do exactly what they do on the main lake like on, on a real lake they do the same thing they spawn you can see on the flat side of the lake you can see where they've been spawning and then on the deeper side there's more shade that's where the, the fry is going towards that shade and the bigger fish are kind of off there's there's little points a high spots in this pond just like how it is on the lake and the fish are going to those uh like off of those points and stuff just like they would on the lake it's really no different so you guys that fish and you listen to youtube videos and everybody's talking about fishing on the on the lake, really the same principles apply to uh, to fishing in ponds and smaller bodies of water. 
fish move up to the shallowest part to spawn to the flatter area as soon as they finish spawning they move off of that area and they keep transitioning you know slowly out to deeper water all throughout the years it's just the same thing nothing's really different at all pretty cool and i didn't even know that you know i, I fish i fish primarily lakes i don't get to fish ponds that much because usually i'm busy so i don't have time to fish the ponds but you know now i'm getting to fish the ponds pretty pretty regularly and they really do the same thing man it's not much different yeah now, now this brush done i don't want you messing with that Dan, I can't believe you caught one. That must be a blind fish. That's the dumbest fish in the pond. You caught him. You probably tied one on. That's probably when you tied on. Ain't no way you caught a fish on your own. Did you tie him on or something? I won't put up with no poaching. Look at my hook set. Oh, man, I lost it. Crappy. Probably crappy. You can fish right there, don't come over here though. I got this school, I'm working a, I'm working the school on these cane piles. I can't, you're making me nervous. I'm not making very good cast right now. I believe I got the school fired up now. Got him. Got him. I brought him up out of that cane pile. Man, I tell you what, Dan, what, what does it feel like to witness this? Do you feel like this is the last dance, like with Michael Jordan? Huh? Just, you just think about it. You are living through the era of the greatest, one of the greatest, huh? I, I know you feel, you don't want to admit it on camera, but you know you feel good about this. How does it feel to live through this? Huh? I'm, I'm surprised you keep coming back for more. I'm looking forward to the day where I ask you to go and you say, I just, I don't want to get beat no more. I don't want to get no beat no more. Will you teach me your ways? You hanging in there though. You hanging in there today. And when I say hanging, I do mean hanging too, because that's all you doing is hanging by a strand. Huh? Dion, bring your, bring your boat over here so you can keep the whole rod next time I get one on. Uh, huh? Don't cat. All right. That's why I caught that right there. That's why I got, I'm working this school of bass. I got my, I got anchor down. You know what the, the, the rule is if your anchor down and your paddle is up, it's 200 yards. Now why you gotta be like that? You see, I got this school of fish working. You sitting right on top of them. You sitting on top of the fish, huh? I know you can't catch them off the brush pile. You're not good. You've never been no brush pile fisherman, huh? I really don't think that's a good idea. Wow, you're just gonna hit me, huh? Yeah. There's your 13 incher right there. There's your 13 incher. There's a bed out here in the middle. Hey, we need to fish this flat right here. Like all out here. I see one bed. You just gonna hit my worm like that, huh? Big old bass. I caught that one on a sawtail worm. Wow. See what I'm doing to you? That's what you get for fishing my brush out there in the middle. I told you to stay off of that for today. That's not really a lot to ask. Yo, thanks for hanging out with my brother and I today. I can promise you, no feelings were hurt in this video. It's all good. This is just how we cut up when we go fishing. 
If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, share it with a family member, share it with a friend, and make sure you comment in the comment section.